Hello, my name is Jeff Feige and I'm with Agile Technology America. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Adobe Flash Player plugin on the Agile Linux device using the Agile Universal Management Suite. I have a virtual thin client for demonstration purposes and I have an RDP connection to our Universal Management Suite install which is on 2008 R2. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is create the resource so the thin client can download the flash plugin. Um, you can use uh, any HTTP resource um, but we're going to use the built-in Tomcat server for this demonstration purpose. I've already created a folder on the desktop called flash player to house the plugin and we're going to create a resource called flash player and we're going to point this to the folder on the desktop click on OK it'll show up in our list click on apply and you will now see inside this folder a web-inf which shows that Tomcat is serving out of this folder so the next thing we need to do is actually download the flash player uh, we provide an URL um, in our default configuration but since Adobe uh, is not owned by IGEL it's a third-party entity um, they have a tendency to change the location of the flash plugin and change the name of the package that it's contained in so uh, we're gonna download it by hand it's considerably less stressful to do it this way um, so we'll go here to adobe.com go to Adobe flash player um, we'll click on different operating system or browser and select 32-bit Linux and select the tar gz and click on download now and uh, as soon as it's done downloading here we'll put it into that folder we created on the desktop so there it is we'll copy it put it into the flash player folder on the desktop and then we can close the browser uh, next we'll open up the management suite console which i already have open here um, the uh, virtual thin client is already under management and it has uh, a few uh, profiles uh, installed on it uh, nothing special uh, just time zone shadowing you know Linux terminal and a browser this particular browser profile I have configured so that we can see that the plugin is actually installed so we'll take a look at this profile real quick all I've done to this profile um, is set our home page show my home page is about plugins and then I turned off the hide about config so we can actually look at the plugins page so if we bring up the thin client and go to browser um, it should go to the about plugins page and we'll see here that we have Java Citrix receiver QuickTime uh, VLC shockwave flash 1.0 which is uh, an open source version of flash um, and that's about it so going over here for next thing what we'll do is we'll create the profile and we'll go ahead and create a new profile we'll call it Adobe flash plugin and we'll select the correct firmware for our device which is 4.11.100 and click on OK and we'll go to sessions browser plugins flash player the first thing we need to do is enable the uh, setting here and accept the license and then we go to download flash player and turn on all these triangles um, you can also use the firmware location um, for the download so your firmware update settings but I prefer to set a, uh, a separate resource just for the flash player um, the username and password I'm going to use the DBM username and password but if you have something else configured you can certainly use that as well the download URL um, this is the URL that is not correct most commonly not correct we will set this to um, IGEL RM server um, I can use this we have an A record in our environment if you don't have um, a host name or a FQDN available uh, or configured in your DNS you can use um, the IP address so uh, port 9080 is the default for our Tomcat server and the extension at the end of the path will be the name of the resource that we created which is called flash player 
and then the actual file to download will copy that file name from the folder just so that uh, we know we have it correct and we'll paste this in here and yeah see the file name even changed so um, this is all we need in order to uh, to put the flash plugin on the device so I will save this and we'll go down here to this folder and we'll apply that profile to the folder and now we'll move the thin client into that folder and we'll push the settings out so that the thin client gets the proper settings. We'll see the thin client here um, now has the settings and then we can go to flash player download flash player and click on this and you'll see it's already removing the old one creating the new partition and installing the flash player. If you would rather have this be done automatically when you apply the profile there is a way to uh, to accomplish that. Generally speaking we don't do that by default. Um, if you create a profile apply it to a folder that say has a thousand thin clients in it you wouldn't necessarily want all thousand of those thin clients to start downloading the flash player immediately. You would want to uh, set that up as a job perhaps but I will show you how to accomplish that. So we'll move the thin client back to the LX folder which uh, no longer has the flash plugin profile assigned to it and we'll update the settings on the device and you'll see the device will remove the flash player um, and then we'll make our change to the flash plugin profile you can go to system registry browser plugin flash player and the one that you want to look at is called download flash player download underscore flash player if you enable this and check the box that says I want to download flash players and care about licensing by myself once this profile is applied to the device so we'll now put this back in this folder and push the settings out to the device settings UMS to TC you'll see that once it gets the settings it will immediately download the flash player and install it so um, that's pretty much it I almost forgot to show you that uh, the flash plugin is actually installed so we'll start the browser here on a thin client you can see right here uh, shockwave flash is installed we can go to uh, youtube.com and click on a random video and um, here you can see uh, flash player is installed and ready to rock um, once again my name is Jeff Feige I'm with Agile Technology and I hope this video was helpful to you